Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Crypto Mining Fundamentals by IntelliPad. Mining is the process that Bitcoin and several other cryptocurrencies use to generate new coins and verify new transactions. It involves a vast decentralized network of computers around the world that verify and secure blockchains, the virtual ledgers that document cryptocurrency transactions. In this session, you will learn all about the crypto mining fundamentals. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello and welcome to the video of Fundamentals of Crypto Mining by Intelipa. In this video, I'll be introducing you to cryptocurrencies and crypto mining. So without further ado, let's get to the agenda of this video. So first comes, what is cryptocurrency? What is blockchain technology? How is crypto different from the rest? What is crypto mining? How does crypto mining work? Requirements? To mine cryptocurrencies, the energy consumption and the environmental impacts with the future of crypto and mining. So let's get to the first topic. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a virtual or digital currency which is used to make payments online as a medium of exchange to buy goods or services. Cryptocurrencies work on the blockchain technology. In cryptocurrency, the crypto stands for the process of cryptography, which basically makes use of computer encryptions and decryptions, which secures all the data in all the blocks involved in the blockchain. Which brings us to our next topic, which is what is blockchain technology? Blockchain is a technology that actually is used to store information in the form of blocks. Usually, the information stored are who made the payment and to whom and other basic transaction related data. And these data are stored in the form of a digital ledger, which is again similar to a register of all these transactions. Now, let's look at our next topic. How is crypto different from the rest? The cryptocurrencies differ from the rest of the online transaction systems and the general payment systems in many ways. Let us take a look at each of them. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized. They have no transaction limits. They have no or negligible transaction fees. They are free from third-party interferences. They are not issued or controlled by any government. And finally, anyone can own cryptocurrencies without having to go through the hassles of paperwork. Now let's take a deeper look at each of these topics in depth. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized. A very unique trait of cryptocurrencies is that they are decentralized, which basically means that all the important decisions regarding cryptocurrencies are taken by a distributed network, whereas the decisions regarding all of the other currencies and payment systems are made and governed by various centralized entities. No transaction limits. One of the most common issues faced by people are the transaction limits set by various banks as well as payment apps. Now this is where cryptocurrencies stand out since they have little to no transaction limit, no or negligible transaction fees. The action of most banks and payment systems charging a certain amount as transaction fees is something that has always worried or annoyed customers since a very long time. This is also where cryptocurrencies stand out yet again since they charge little to almost no transaction fees free from third-party interferences. Bitcoin, which is a type of a cryptocurrency, is immutable, which means the only way to reverse a transaction is when the receiver sends it back to the sender. And thus, the only way to revert a Bitcoin transaction would be if and when the person whom to we send the Bitcoin sends it back to us. Hence, it is free from all the hassles of an involvement from a third party, not issued or controlled by any government. As of now, cryptocurrencies across the world are free from the control of governments or other ruling bodies. And because of this, investors are booming since the general economy doesn't hit the crypto market values as bad as it does to all other forms of currencies. And finally, paperwork hassle-free. While most banks and other payment systems requires some level of 
paperwork made me KYC or any other proofs. Cryptocurrencies do not require any of these, which makes the entire process of crypto transactions hassle free. Which brings us to the next topic of our session, what is crypto mining? Even though crypto mining occurs virtually on the internet, it is very similar to other mining processes like gold mining, silver mining, coal mining, etc. Crypto mining is done by extremely powerful computers by very skilled crypto miners. And like any other mining processes, crypto mining requires a humongous amount of power as in electricity as well. And since crypto mining works on blockchain technology, let's take a look at what is the blockchain technology. In very simple terms, blockchain is nothing but blocks of information that are stored one after the other like a chain and hence the name blockchain. The data that are normally stored in blockchain are related to various transactions that are made all over the world and all this data is stored in what is called a digital ledger which is indeed similar to a real life ledger where we store various recurring data. Let us take a look at our next topic which is how does crypto mining work. As we discussed earlier crypto mining works by using blockchain. Let's elaborate. Every time a new cryptocurrency transaction occurs, the details of that transaction such as who sent the currency, who received the currency and how much was sent will be added to the various blocks on the blockchain by miners in a competitive manner and by solving complex mathematical problems to guess these correct numbers. The first miner to guess it correctly is rewarded a part of that transaction. And since crypto mining works on the reward systems, let's take a look at it. The reward systems of crypto mining. As we saw on the previous slide, the crypto mining works on the concept of rewards. As of now, a miner who guesses the precise transaction first and updates it on the blockchain is rewarded around 6.25 Bitcoin. The reward price varies from time to time depending on a variety of factors. Now let's take a look at some statistical data. As we can see from this graph, Miners used to get as much as 50 bitcoins back in 2009, which gradually decreased to 25 in 2012 and then 12.5 in 2016 and currently about 6.25 per block on the blockchain. It is estimated that by the year 2024, miners would be getting only about 3.125 bitcoins per successful mining of one block on the blockchain. And it is observed that for every 2,10,000 blocks or roughly every four years, the reward for mining one block is halved. Now, let's take a look at our next topic, which is requirements to mine cryptocurrencies. Basically, it comes down to just three requirements to mine cryptocurrencies. First one is a wallet. A wallet is an online encrypted payment account that enables miners to accept, store and transfer cryptocurrencies. Exodus, Trezor, Coinbase, are examples of online wallets for crypto mining. The second one is mining software. These softwares can run on both Windows as well as Mac platforms. And once these softwares are installed and connected, the miners can start mining. And finally, a computer equipment. The particular hardware equipment required for mining is called as an ASIC or application specific integrated circuits and they cost about 10,000 US dollars or more approximately. The next topic that we are going to cover is about the energy consumption and the environmental impacts. Since we had seen earlier that cryptocurrency mining is very similar to other mining processes, it is also a well-known fact that crypto mining is a heavy energy consuming process. Each year, Bitcoin mining alone uses around 143.5 terawatt hours of electricity. That is a huge amount of energy, almost equivalent to seven times of electricity that Google's global operations use. It is even observed that in some countries like Kazakhstan, there were power outrages 
that occurred due to heavy crypto mining. Now, it would be unfair if the environmental impacts of the crypto mining were left unsaid. Bitcoin mining alone is predicted to emit around 40 billion pounds of CO2 in the United States of America. And it is estimated that by the year 2030, the Bitcoin sector hopes to have eliminated all the carbon emissions caused by mining. Which brings us to our last topic, the future of crypto and mining. Analysts have estimated that the market for cryptocurrency will be tripled or more by the year 2030 on a global scale, which would hit its market valuation of nearly 5 billion US dollars. And it has been observed that for a very long time that the number of crypto investors have been steadily increasing and expanding around globally. Although recently, it has been exploding. So to wrap things up, it is very much safe to say that the future looks very bright for cryptocurrencies, crypto market, as well as crypto investors. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts regarding cryptocurrencies, please sure put it down on the comment box below. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to our YouTube channel for our latest updates. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides blockchain certification training mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below.